Hello, all my Gemini friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Indigo here from Indigo Goddess 1111. And um, I am bringing you your channeled messages direct from Spirit. Um, I had such an amazing outpour of support in the ones that I have already listed. In the next five zodiac signs that I post um, was from people that had asked to have them done. So, my sweet, dear Geminis, you have quite the situation going on. Um, I did meditate and I did pull some channel messages that I wrote down and I will um, keep channeling as I'm going. So, Gemini, you guys are feeling so betrayed, so hurt, so disconnected with oneself. You you feel like things are over for you. You feel like you can't do anything right. You feel like you are standing on the edge and all it takes is the smallest breeze and you are going to come crashing down. You're emotionally drained. You are tired of the pain. And I'm getting like such an overwhelming amount of messages. Um, and your energy is so sad. Um, but even with all this going on, um, by the next four to six weeks, you are going to view things a lot differently. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a majority of you are that are feeling this way are dealing with an earth sign, um, mostly a Virgo. And you could also be dealing with a Leo, possibly a Taurus. Um, yeah, I'm getting Virgo, Taurus, and Leo, and Cancer. Um, Spirit is reminding you and requesting that you take a step back and remain focused on what you have learned, what you've been taught in the last two and a half to three years. Spirit's also um, encouraging you to listen to your intuition. It's telling you, it's telling you what's going on. Um, it's telling you things aren't right. There's an earth sign that is still hanging around but I feel they're going through their own stuff. They're going through their own transitions. They are ending their own chapters. They're just dealing with their own situation. Them being in their own situation, dealing with their own situation, is causing you to feel like you can't move forward. And even though they're moving forward, I feel for a group of you, they're leaving you stuck in the mud. They're moving forward, but they're not taking you with them. You need to release this person. Spirit's encouraging you to focus on your work and money. 
um, instead of your relationships right now because you need to heal. You are going to get some hard truths thrown at you in the next month. Some hard things to deal with. Um, this could be from a Libra. A Virgo. Another Gemini. Or a Taurus. Or a Cancer. You love this person. You can't picture your life without them. And you don't want to try to picture your life without them. You feel like um, you just have this overwhelming sense of betrayal. Um, of being taken advantage of, being used. Spirit is saying it's time to cut people out. If they did not bring out the best in you, if they did not, um, if they did not make your life better, or serve your greatest good, then you need to focus on what's important and cut them out. This is going to be hard for a lot of you to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Because for this group of you in this situation, you thought this relationship was going to be the one. It was going to go the, the long haul. You were going to grow old with this person. You thought this person was one that you were building a solid foundation to build your family on, to build your future on. And... So hearing that it's time to let them go is particularly heartbreaking for you because for these people dealing with this, I see your partner leaving. If you're not already in separation, I see them walking away for somebody else. You feel like you're being punished. You feel like the world is kicking you while you're down. And every time you are ready to stand back up again, they come by and stomp on you some more. And you don't understand. You, It almost feels karmic. Like, what did I do? In this life to deserve this. What did I do to this person to deserve this? You gave it their all, your all. You, you you I'm finding it hard to find the word to say. You gave them everything you possibly could and more without even hesitating. So when they are giving back to you lies, deceit, cheating, secrets, stealing, I mean, the list goes on and on. You're thinking to yourself, what did I do? Why, why is this happening to me? And spirit wants you to know you didn't do anything. This is not your fault, the way you are being treated. The problem is not you. It's them. They are toxic. 
for some of you, they're narcissists. They are me, 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 me. And they will take and take and take until you have no more to give. And then when you run out of what you can possibly give them, when it's supposed to be your turn to receive, they're supposed to give to you, they walk away and give it to somebody else. Um, and for some of you, you need to just go within and find your answers to your questions there. Because Spirit is saying your intuition is on point. You know it's not right. You know what's going on. <clears throat> so don't go chasing after them for answers. Just go within. Think about it. You know. It's just hard to look at. And you're asking, why me? What did I do? In hopes that they will give you an answer that you didn't think in your head. So with your intuition, you're thinking, you know, worst case scenario, but you're hoping when you ask them that it was all just a misunderstanding that this wasn't happening, that you made a mistake and they're going to tell you something completely different. And spirit said the answers aren't going to change because the only way you're going to get the truth is if you go within and find it because they're not offering you truth. They're lying. They're offering you, um, they're offering you nothing but a false mask and they're going to wear that mask until you walk away or until you have nothing left to give. Karma will come. For you, Gemini, you will be on the uphill swing. For those that you're dealing with that have put you through hell, karma will also find them. Karma don't care who you are. Karma only cares what you do, what you've done. <coughs> and they will find them. And they will eventually knows, know what it feels like to be on the flip side of the quarter. You will realize this month, Gemini, that it's time to move on. You if you don't move on, Gemini, they will stay they will stick around. For a time being. But they're only going to stick around. Until you. Have given everything. That you possibly can. They're going to use you. And then they're going to walk away. You're feeling backstabbed. Betrayed. Cheated. Um, treated unfairly. But I promise you, releasing this person will cause your transition period. It will bring everything full circle. It will allow you to get out of this nasty, pathetic, piece of shit energy that you are currently in, that you do not deserve. It's time to let go. And I promise you, it can only get better. For a group of you, a fire sign is going to come into your life. 
This can be in the form of a friend, a uh, family, a coworker, but it is a younger fire sign. And they're going to give you inspiration. They're going to inspire you. They're going to inspire you to want to change your environment, your everything. For you, Gemini, you find this person intriguing. You want to embody the energy that they carry. They seem so carefree. They don't worry about what other people think about them. They, they don't stick around to be taken advantage of. You want to embody that energy. They inspire you. And I see you being successful in doing that for a group of you. On a positive note, for a large number of Gemini out there, you are finding new success at work. You're kind of diving into your business whatever it is you do for a living, and it's going to be very successful. Monetary gains, expansion, promotions, more income. You're going to be recognized by colleagues <coughs> for um, the work you're doing. But Spirit is cautioning you to try to remain balanced with, between work and home. Because for a group of you, you are throwing yourself into your job to get your mind off this. And while that's all great and good for your job, Spirit is saying, be cautious of burning yourself out. Because you're already emotionally drained which takes a toll on your physical body. And then if you're physically drained from work, you are going to get ill because um, your immune system will be down. Um, you're just going to get burnout. And I see a group of you who may be facing financial issues because your significant other, your partner, your loved one is hoarding money. They are hiding. They're hiding finances from you because they're planning on sneaking away. They're planning on walking out and they want enough money to make sure that they're going to be okay. And the sad thing is, Gemini, is being the Gemini that you are, if they would have just asked you, you probably would have given it to them. But they're planning, uh, they have a strategy that they're trying to carry out on how much they can get from you and how quick they can get out without them having to be inconvenienced. They're gathering information about something. For a group of you, this is the Geminis that are going through a divorce. <laughs> They are trying to gather information behind your back so they can try to manipulate like child support or alimony. And for a group of you, Gemini, you're going to be gathering information on some secrets that are going to be coming to light. 
your partner don't know you know the secret. So you're going to also get together your information. Um, I see it for a group of you at home is just chaos. It's conflict. It's tension. It's you just feel so uneasy, Gemini, right now. You, and this is for all, like all Geminis, you just feel so disconnected from life, from the world, like not just from your partner, your loved one, you, you yourself feel like you're just not, you're here, but you're not here. Um, so then when this like conflict and um, tension come in, you you just break down. It's like you don't want to fight another day. You, they come in to argue with you. And it's like you instantly fall to your knees with your hand, your head and your hands. It's like a defeated, tired, worn out, used, deceived, The list goes on. And I hate to bring such a down energy into these channeled messages, but Spirit said there is such a large amount of you going through this that this is the message that needs to be heard. You, Gemini, need to know that you're not alone. There are many of you going through the same thing. And spirit says it's okay to be sad. It's okay to shed tears, to shed that pain, but don't live there. After your knees have hit the ground in despair and hurt and pain, that is when you send your prayers to the universe and you get back up and you dust yourself off and you live to fight another day. Because letting them knock you to the ground <coughs> and then staying there is like giving them a win. Don't let anybody knock you down and keep you there. Nobody is worth that. I see for a different group of you, there's deception and temptation. And you are going to start seeking the truth. You're going to start spying. You're going to start looking for information. <clears throat> but that's because you feel like you're being scammed. Um, because one of you doesn't see a future with the other person. And the other person would fight to the death for the other But this deception is going to come to light. Secrets are going to be exposed. Lies are going to be confronted. And for a group of you, that's the line. You are walking away. You have put up with it long enough. You're going to hold your head up high and walk right out the door. For a different group of you, 
you see this unrequited love as not something to move away from, but for something to come at, at come at with an even um, stronger energy. Spirit is encouraging you not to do that. It's going to lead into heartbreak because that's just going to make them go all the faster and your heart's going to be broken in the long run anyways. So save your energy for yourself and let your intuition speak to you because it is there. It is on point. The relationship is unbalanced. There's only one giver and which means there's only one taker because the giver can't take anything if nothing's being offered. There's a, such a sense of instability here that it puts you guys on edge daily because you don't know from day to day whether the relationship You don't know where this relationship stands because from day to day, you know, they could walk out on you and not look back and wouldn't bat an eye. There's you need to really um you need to decide for yourself where you stand don't let them decide if you want to go go if you want to stay fine let them know i'm staying if you want to work it out you can stay too but i'm not going to beg you to stay don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out Spirit is saying you need to determine where you stand for yourself. Do not base it on what they want to do and then stick to that. There's a group of you that you're already in separation you could have small children. It could be weeks or months since, since they've seen their children or talked to their children. Um, they are, they are not coming back. They have already moved on for this group of you. Um, because there was a third party involved and for this group of you, I'm seeing they just took off. Like you didn't even know they were leaving. They just didn't ever come back one day for another group of you. Your partner came to you and told you that they wanted a separation. You did not want the separation. You felt unloved. Um, you felt unloved, unwanted, unworthy. There is also a third party in this situation as well, too. Um, but secrets are coming out. You're going to know this all. And honestly, there's probably not a message I have told you yet that you didn't honestly feel with your intuition before I posted this message. You just need to hear it is what spirit is saying. You feel scattered, confused, lost. You feel like you don't know which way to turn. 
You can't decide which way is up. Because just when you start to get comfortable with the idea of starting to move on, oh, they're back. They mean it this time. They're staying for real. They aren't going to hurt you. That will never happen again. I never lied to you. What other person? You're crazy. You're making this up. How many of you have heard that? It's their way of getting back in. They come back when they need something. And if you're not standing there with open arms, they make you feel like you're the problem and that you should feel lucky that they're back. And I say, screw that. Don't open the door next time. They walk out, change the locks. Do you really want to be in a relationship where you don't know if you wake up in the morning, if they're going to be there? And when they leave for work, you are not sure if they will ever return? That, that just makes you insecure. You deserve a love that makes you feel so secure that you have no issues being out of their sight. You have no issues going to your own jobs and knowing that you're going to come home that night and you're going to have supper together and you're going to go to bed together. You shouldn't have to live 24 hours a day scared that you're going to turn around and they're not going to be able to be found. Gemini, you have one of the most sweetest, caring, compassionate, loving energies of the Zodiac and you need to stand your ground. Stand up for you. Because they're not standing up for you. They're backstabbing you. They're talking shit. They're cheating. They're lying. They're coming back when they need money or something. You thought that you were building a foundation. You thought this person wanted the same things out of life that you did. You came into this relationship thinking long-term. They came into this relationship thinking long enough to get what I need. But it's okay. Because with this ending, there is a positive to this message. This ending is going to close out a chapter of your life and after you get over the initial hurt, the initial pain, you are going to realize how free you feel. How the how life feels like without being in constant wonder, constant worry, constant paranoia, constant suspicion, being lied to constantly because Spirit is getting this person out of the way because there are new people coming into your life. I see for a large group of you, you're ending relationships with a Virgo or a Leo. You wanted a life with these people, with this person. You wanted a family. You wanted a Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups relationship. But they're unfortunately moving on to where they feel the grass is greener. Don't go after them. Spirit is saying, please let it end because you have a beautiful, beautiful, amazing friendship, relationship. There are so many people coming into your life, Gemini. You just have to get through this. <clears throat> This month or two stint in your life where this has been going on for a long time, but I feel in December, January, and towards the beginning of February, you feel like all of a sudden um, those 10 of wands that were on your back just multiplied by a thousand. You feel heavy. You feel drained. You feel emotional. Um, you feel disconnected from the from everything. Um,
Yeah, the universe is working on getting things out of your way. Because some of you, like I said, have a new relationship coming in. Some of you have new friendships. Some of you have new jobs. Um, I see in the next week, a large group of you getting job offers, promotions. But those positives can only come to you when you let go of the negatives. Get out of this toxic relationship. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> my goodness. I am so sorry. <coughs> no, my eyes are water. Okay. Yeah, you have to let go of this toxic relationship. It's not serving you any damn good anyways. All it's giving you is a headache and a heartache. So trust your intuition. Don't overthink this situation because you know, you've seen enough, you know enough, even though they tell you you're crazy and you're making stuff up and you're trying to make them look bad and blah, 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 you know, so let it go. Let it go and give it to God and trust him that he knows what he's doing and he's going to bring the people into your life that you deserve, that deserve you. After this cycle in your life, this chapter comes to a close, after this toxic relationship is released, you are going to build you. You are going to reinvent who you are. And it's going to be amazing, awesome. You are going to have so much you're going to have so much motivation to just be so much better. Because for a group of you, you live in the same town, the same area, you have the same friends. So you know you're going to run into them. You know they're going to hear about what you're up to. So you're going to make them wish they never left. Because you are going to be in your own element and just setting goals and making them daily. Spirit is just warning you to not get stuck in your head. Do not overthink things and um, mistake your fears and your, um, your past heartache. Don't mistake those for your intuition. Just let it go. Let them go. Um, I see court cases happening, divorces, um, child support being set. But karma is in your, karma is on your side. You are going to come out of this way better than what you were in it at. So, so let this go so the universe can bring in what is meant for you. Don't hold yourself back. Just let it go. And I know it's a lot easier said than done, but these new people that are coming into your life, whether it be relationships, friendships, they're going to teach you so much about life and not the lessons in life that you have just had to learn because those were hard lessons. They are going to teach you the joy in life. They are going to teach you what it's like to have somebody real, somebody that's there just as much for you, Gemini, as you are for them. 
you are going to build beautiful friendships. Lifelong friendships. For a large number of you, you are going to have your divine relationship enter your life. Your um, soulmate, twin flame. You just had to learn these karmic lessons. And the universe is good at making sure you learned them really well. You don't want to backtrack. So they give it to you good. And this last relationship has put you through the ringer. You feel like you can't endure any more pain. But for a group of you, that's what that's what you had to have happen for your karmic lessons. We all signed up for this life when we came here. It's just so damn hard to live it. But you are going to honestly, Gemini, you are going to rise out of this far more better than what walked out the door. They'll regret it. They're going to miss you down the road. They're going to realize what they gave up. They will never admit it to you because they don't. And like I said, I hate that my message is so negative and so sad. But spirit says, says that it has to be brutally honest because the truth's been in front of your face for a long time and you still haven't walked away. So for those of you who need to hear this, will hear this and be enlightened to the situation. For a group of you, For a group of you, when I was saying um, something about a fire sign is going to come into your life and, and speak to you truthfully and bring you clarity, and you're going to want to embody the energy of a fire sign, Spirit is just telling me, I'm here. I'm your one speaking truth and clarity. You needed to hear this message. I am Sun, Moon, Sagittarius, and Venus rising, Aries. I am 100% fire. So, Spirit is asking to please listen to my words. You need to hear this because it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. Um, I did channel some messages this morning. I'm going to make sure... Like I said, for a group of you, I think I said this, um, this is an earth sign, Virgo or Taurus. Um, your anxiety is through the roof, um, but there is an end in sight. And Spirit is saying, um, for a group of you, you're going to choose to leave things behind before this person has a chance to leave anyways. But for those of you who are suffering from like severe anxiety, um, Spirit is saying to watch your diet. You're not eating right. You are not sleeping well. You are out of your head stressed. And Spirit saying to make sure you watch your diet. Stay hydrated, um, eat right, and try yoga to relieve your stress, your tension. Um, you are going to come out of this soon. For um, the majority of you, <coughs> um, a lot of what I have said already is you've already been through this. You're on the downhill slide of this nightmare. Um, so I see you coming, 
I see by the end of January, beginning of February, you've had enough and you're walking away or that other person will have walked away. By March, you are going to feel so different. Spirit is reminding me again to watch your finances because for a group of you, your significant other, your spouse, whatever, is hoarding money, stocking it away a little at a time. So when he makes his exit plan, um, he's got something to, to start up on, on your money. Because for a large amount of these people, they're not even working. So they're saving your money so they can go start somewhere new with somebody else. So Spirit is requesting or suggesting that you start going through your finances, um, your bank account, whatever, with a fine tooth comb. Um, call them out on it. And... Yeah, for those of you who are married, you can't really do a whole lot. But um, if you're not married, make sure they know that if you find anything, something will be done about it. And karma is coming. And you guys are going to be blessed by the universe with abundance in everything. For a group of you, I see... Um, Gemini, there will there, Gemini females will have a partner coming in who is who is sun sign Scorpio. Sun sign Scorpio, Venus Sag. There will be a commitment here very fast. Um, very successful and will end in an engagement within a year. There is for a Gemini male, you have Capricorn female or an Aquarius female relationships forming. Um, I hate to say it, but be careful of Cancer and Pisces, Virgos. Cancer only because they are going through their own issues. Actually, Cancer and Pisces. They are not emotionally stable or ready for relationships either. So that's why Spirit is saying those two signs. Virgo, you're just walking out from a Virgo. Don't go back. Don't try another. Taurus, don't, no. Leo, no. Let's just steer clear of those signs for a while, guys. Um, at least until through the first uh, quarter of the year. So after March, um, but in the next, um, in February and March, and then rest of January, um, try to refrain from those signs. You have family that is going to um, come in and step up and support you and love you and be proud of you for leaving this. Um, a lot of them have been seeing this for a long time go on and you just didn't want to listen. You didn't want to hear it. So they quit They quit pointing it out because you weren't listening anyways and all it was doing was causing heartache between the two of you, the family member and yourself. I see friendships growing, um, twin flames coming. And for a lot of those, those um, twin flame relationships will be super fast come in like one day you didn't know and the next day you're ready to run away with them you won't but you know what i mean so those are all the messages i'm getting for you today gemini i promise this heavy energy this feeling of being kicked while you're down um it's kind of the feeling of the collective Gemini. It's going to be over soon. Um, within the next moon cycle, that energy is going to be lifted off you. So be strong. Stay strong. Know you're strong. Your strength never leaves you. Your ego just tries to hide it from you. 
So know that this difficult time in your life right now had to happen to make you the person that you're that you are that you're going to be these were the karmic lessons that had to be learned and now the universe is clearing way for a huge blessing in your life <coughs> <coughs> So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, Spirit is saying to Spirit is saying to be patient, be strong, have faith, because Blessings are going to start flowing in for you as soon as you let this transition end. Close this chapter. Burn the book. Like you don't even need to look back at it. You don't have to have anything to remind you of it. Burn the book. Because the next chapter in your life does not even can compare to what you just had to write. That was a horror story. Now it's time for your fairy tale. It's time for happiness. It's time for abundance, fulfillment, joy, love, happiness, self-confidence, stability, secure, self-loving, Know your worth, Gemini, because you are worth a million more and then some than what you've been getting. So stand your ground. Know your worth. Speak your truth and live your truth. And um, be prepared because the universe has some surprises up their sleeve that um, is coming to you in the form of good karma for all the good that you do for everybody. You, my Gemini, are one of the kindest zodiacs, and I love you all. So I hope this message um, serves you well. I hope that who needed to hear this finds this, and um, keep your head up. The worst is over. Um, it can't get no worse. So let's start climbing up, and... I will see you next time, Gemini. Sending you love and light.